Hey there, my name is John Ellison. I'm an entrepreneur on a mission. And today is day eight of a 30 day series where I'm gonna share little snippets along my way as an entrepreneur, from dropping out of university at 18 to run a tech company, all the way through to where I am now with many countries, successes and failures later. Today, I'm gonna walk you through my workstation and my home office setup. Uh, this place has changed over time. I've tried so many different variations. Um, I've got scoliosis in my back, which means I have a curvy spine, and I've worked remotely for a long time. And uh, frankly, I've been struggling with chronic pain. And so uh, I think sharing some of the tips that I've found for how to work more ergonomically and how to have less back pain might help you. And I'll also walk through some of my productivity tips about how I approach getting things done. So first of all, one of the key things I've got is a whiteboard. I'm a big fan of just breaking away from the screen and getting ideas down. Uh, I think that's a great asset if you've got room for it. Um, it's a bit of a uh, under-decorated space at the moment. Just used to be a baby room and we're kind of moving in post-pandemic. Um, and then behind me, I've got sort of a wall of sticky notes that I use to kind of just map out my mind as I work. And above my workstation, I have uh, what I call my purpose map, which I can walk you through another time, which is an ever evolving iterative thing that describes why I'm here as a person and how I can fulfill that purpose, that reason for being. Uh, it's kind of like the icky guy, if you've ever seen that model, but slightly different. Okay, so let me walk you through my station. Okay, so this is my workstation. What we've got here is a sit-stand desk with a motor and a pre-programmable function that allows you to set different, different settings. So I have number one is my seated height where I can bring up my chair. Uh, number two is my kind of normal at computer standing height. And then number three, which is my reading height. And I have this little reading uh, kind of like book stand that I use um, in order to just improve the ergonomics of my reading experience so that I'm not like looking straight down on a page. So I can shift from writing on my laptop and typing to reading quite quickly this way. Um, and I can also collapse this and move it onto the side of my bookshelf if I want to, just to give me a little bit more space. So, um, Basically, one of the things here that I really appreciate is being able to switch from standing to sitting at different times of day. I try not to sit or stand continuously for much more than an hour each. When I'm standing, I use this uh, topo mat ergo, which is a mat that really helps me kind of keep active. There's no point in standing if you're always gonna be in the same spot. So I sort of balance between these two balls. I rock back and forth. I do some calf stretching. Uh, I can kind of bounce up on my toes and this moving just helps me prevent from staying sedentary for too long. So you'll notice that my laptop is on this kind of uh, stand that can anchor and move. And that is really nice for me because I can set my laptop at different heights according to my position. So all I need to do is just raise this little lever here and it allows me to have it uh, just about at eye level while I am standing or while I'm sitting. Um, that's a really nice thing for me because I used to have a lot of neck and back pain. The other thing that I've got that I really appreciate is a split keyboard. I know it looks a little bit like I'm kind of operating a spaceship but um, the ergonomics of the Mac isn't great because your wrists end up getting a lot of tension by both of your hands being held together so closely and being flat. And what this allows you to do is to have your hands separated and to have them slightly anchored to the left and to the right. So it's just a bit more of a natural lean. Uh, I used to have a more ergonomic mouse, but it kind of failed on me. So I've got this magic trackpad uh, that I like as well. Uh, AirPod Pro, I uh, love this gadget. I've tried lots of different headphones and this is probably one of the best products I've got besides my MacBook. Uh, this is called the Time Cube. It's from a company called Daytex, and this allows me to do what is known as the Pomodoro Technique. So um, every time that I work, I try and adhere to this protocol, 
whereby I write down the specific task that I'm gonna do on a sticky note, and then I place that sticky note on my laptop um, before I actually log in. And then I set my timer for 25 minutes and I force myself to just focus on that task until it's done or until I change my uh, task priority. And then once the timer goes off, it gives me a little bit of a beep, I can turn it back like that and that allows me to uh, get some peace from the beeping. And I then go and uh, usually try and do a, a set of pull-ups. I used to only be able to do like five or so, um, but I've gotten a little bit stronger now. Probably do about 10 or 15 without getting too exasperated. Um, so that's fun, that's just attached to my door. And then I've also got a yoga mat um, down here that I use um, to uh, just, yeah, get a little bit of a break, stretch myself, um, give my body relief from sitting in that position. Um, and I've also got like a block that I can use to lie in a supine position as well. Um, this is known as the Eisenhower matrix, so I can uh, prioritize things on a spectrum of urgency and importance when I need to. And I've also got um, just notes from books that I've been reading uh, and things like that. Um, some metrics that I'm looking at, uh, some kind of proto personas and such. Um, also, I've geeked out and bought a really nice <laughs> chair that I'm super happy with. I've tried so many different chairs. Uh, I've had such bad back pain as a digital worker for so many years. And this is an amazing piece of kit if uh, you can get your hands on one. It's a Herman Miller, Herman Miller Ergo. Um, and it's just got this incredible back support. And I haven't really had back pain since I started doing my sit-stand setup with that. Uh, chair and that mat. So yeah, this is my kit. Um, what I can do really easily, I don't like having a big monitor because I find it distracting, there's too many screens. Uh, I can just go ahead and knock out any of the ports that I have set up, grab my laptop, uh, and then I've got what's known as a roost. These are actually made in Denver, hometown, and um, you can basically just open it really quickly and it turns into a mini laptop stand that you can use to work more ergonomically wherever you are. So I'll throw this in my rucksack, uh, or backpack as I guess I used to call it before I moved to England and started being coming British. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it works really nicely. So you've got this set up, it's lifted. Um, you can raise your screen as much as you want. I carry a separate uh, keyboard and mouse, just like a lightweight version, not the big spaceship one and uh, just maintain good ergonomic posture wherever I go. So I think that's about it, other than uh, my main thinking spot here, which I really appreciate just being able to look out window onto the fields. Um, this is our homestead that we've been really blessed to come into. Uh, we've been working on it for a few years, got some raised veg in the background, a greenhouse, and then we've done this sort of uh, fencing area that can start to give a little bit of shape and structure. And then down there is a bell tent that we hang out with the kids and have meals and um, yeah, just kind of try and enjoy the great outdoors when it's sunny or raining. Uh, so this is the spot. Uh, hope there's been some interesting inspiration. Uh, I've got some of my favorite kind of sayings and maxims. Do less better, learn and earn your way to mastery. Repetition is the mother of mastery. Pick a niche, learn it and master it. And uh, I've got a really annoying bookshelf that isn't sized to fit books properly, so I'm constantly smashing the tops of books in places. Uh, and I can walk you through my collection and some of my favorites at some point soon. Cool, thanks for watching. S subscribe to stay tuned. See ya.